All right, if everyone will have defense counsels, if y'all have a seat, I'm gonna call you up in the order in which I have your file. So what is happening with this case? Is this a motion to revoke? What is this? It is actually a motion filed by a defense judge. It's a motion to amend conditions of community supervision. Uh, there is a no contact order with the alleged victim in this case. It is his stepfather. Uh, he was sentenced to state ISF. He did complete that. Uh, upon release, he had nowhere else to go except home. Uh, is so his stepfather here? Stepfather is outside waiting. I wanted to make sure I kept them still apart so sure. I, can, I can call him in whenever we're ready. All right. Let's bring this in. Okay. Uh, probation, are you aware of this? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Court is calling 2022 CR 5859, State of Texas versus Thomas Nathaniel Henson. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Defense. John Pettis for defense. And are you Thomas Henson? Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, In this defense, you're, defense, you're requesting what? Uh, I'm requesting a change from a no contact order to a no harmful or injurious contact on. Forgive me, Judge. All right. No Every problem. time I read it, I mispronounce it. I mispronounce. All right. Call your witness, counsel. Uh, I call Mr. Torres. All right, can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes, I do. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Abilio Walter Torres Mercado. I'm like, the last name? Mercado. Mercado. All right, uh, defense? Yes, sir. Uh, what is your relationship to Mr. Henson? It's my, uh, my, I'm, I always call him son because I was since he was little, but it's my stepson. And uh, are you the alleged victim in the incident arising out of this case? I'm sorry, what was that again? Were you the alleged victim? Yes. Uh, and after he was released, after Mr. Hansen was released from uh, state ISF, he went to go live with your your wife, your home. In That's your home. correct. Uh, and where are you living right now? Uh, with a friend. And it's your desire for him to come home, correct? Correct. Okay. And why is that your desire? Because I, first of all, I want to be with him, and I want to come back home. Plus, I want to help him in any way I can. Okay. Does he have anywhere else to go if you weren't allowed to stay at your home? No. And the incident in question that caused all of this, uh, was that drug-related? Yes. And of course, you understand he just left rehab, so the hope is to keep him off of those drugs. All right. Uh, and of course, Judge, I'd open it up to any questions you may have for him, because I assume you have many. Uh, sometimes I, I have questions that people <laughs> didn't ask. So, do you have questions? Just to clarify. Um, so, I, I believe, sir, that you had said that you wanted him to be able to come home. Yes. He is actually in the home, and you want to come back. Is that right? Okay. All, all of us be together. <laughs> Let's clarify that. And do you feel like you would feel safe if you moved back into the home at this point? Yes, ma'am. No further questions. <clears throat> all right. So who all lives in the home? Uh, right now, it's just my son and my wife. All right. Because I have in my notes that he was supposed to stay with his grandparents. Why he? Why is he not living with his grandparents? He, he they don't want him to go over there. Why not? I guess he may be. Well, his grandmother, she, she said she has cancer. So it's kind of hard for her to handle okay. everything. All right. And this is one of the other reasons why I want to bring him to the house. I mean, he's there. I'm not, but all of us to be together again. Okay. It's just, I, I was hired and this motion was filed prior to his release from uh, state ISF. Uh, so the goal was to try to get that knocked out but we couldn't arrange the zoom to be done while he was an isf so we had to wait until afterwards it's the first date we can get set all right all right any other questions and from the state all right thank you so much for coming in thank you all right any other witnesses no judge all right, could you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes, Your Honor. 
All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Thomas Henson. All right, what have you learned from this? Um, I've learned from the program so far that, you know, it's just better to be more thankful for everything. Of course, it's the longest time I've ever been away from home or in a sanction at all. So it's de definitely taught me to stay sober and just be okay with it. Mm -hmm. And I want to be back with my family. All right. How long have you been uh, back from ISF? Probably like going on two weeks now. Just about two weeks. All right. Do you have employment yet or no? Yes, I, I do have a job. Um, I'm I just struggling to get my ID at the DMV. Like the next available appointment was next month, but we're checking every morning at 7.30 for walk-ins. Okay. And they are holding that job for him. They, they are holding it. I have a, a like a note from them. Okay. That's guaranteed employment. All right. And if you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? be clean. All right. I like the way you said that. <laughs> All right. I will make a decision after I get a UA today. Are we I'll able to that. do a UA? All right. We're going to do a UA today. Okay. Yes, do you need any water or anything? All right. Oh, that's a good sign. Thank you, Judge. All right. Just have a seat and I'll take this up. All right, so what were the results? No test done, Judge. Uh, my client admitted to me and he admitted to probation. Uh, if tested today, he would actually come up uh, dirty. For what? Marijuana. Why are you being dishonest with the court? I got, I got scared, Your Honor. I know it's not right. So he hasn't been doing well? No, Judge. So I don't think he should be staying with his... I don't think he should be staying with the complainant. Give me a, a negative UA and I'll consider it. So when's the last time you used? It was it was one time and it was yesterday. It was last night I was going to pick up food and one of my old buddies saw that I was out and wanted to say hi. And I I I did. I chilled with them for a little bit and I fell into what I shouldn't have. I, so thought, it was, I thought it was harmless because I was thinking. Let me ask you this. Is that buddy? Is that your friend? He's, he's, a, he's an old acquaintance. And then I should have, I, sh I never should have reached out to him, but he reached out to me. And then I just, I felt like I wanted attention, I guess. You know what I mean? But is he your friend? No. Because let me explain something to you. Friends, if they are your true friend, they will not do anything that would jeopardize you. And this case, let me see, is this deferred? So, Judge, yes. All right, this is a deferred adjudication. And because it's a deferred adjudication, you're looking at potentially 20 years in prison. That's what you signed up for. And you have to ask yourself is marijuana worth potentially going to prison for 20 years? If you think it is, continue to use it. And I know some people will say, uh, Judge, why are you so hard on people um, doing marijuana, or people doing alcohol? Hey, it's not necessarily me. The rules of probation are you're not allowed to drink while you're on probation. These are not rules that I made up. This is the legislature. The rules are you're not allowed to use marijuana or illegal substances while you're on probation. These are not rules I made up. This is the legislature. If you want to change where you can drink alcohol in your home while you're on probation, you need to write your congressperson. If you want it changed that you can use marijuana while you're at home, write your legislature. My job here is there are rules, laws, right? And I follow those laws. You understand? So you have fallen off. You're not doing well because you came straight from ISF to back to doing what you're doing. So I'm not going to agree for him to go live with his uh, stepfather because he's not in the right frame of his mind. And if you listen to the testimony of your stepfather, all of this started because of drugs. And guess what? We're right back here with you and drugs and something's about to start. You understand? Yes, sir. Uh, probation. Yes, sir. He needs to do 90 sober meetings in 90 days. And you need to start getting your life together. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. That will get you a, a, a negative, clean UA 
and come back. All right. And uh, probation, make sure he's tested for levels. Yes. And while I have you here, are you saying the only thing you're going to test positive for is marijuana? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So probation, I still want a UA. We're still going to do a UA. It's only got to be positive for marijuana. That's what you're telling me? Just marijuana. All right. All right. Do you want those tests with you? Uh, yes. Those levels have better start going down. And you're going to do a UA here today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. This is, we're off the record. You have fallen down, but you still can improve yourself. You're not going to prison today, <laughs> but you had better start changing people, places, or things. Otherwise, you're going to be back here and it's not going to be pretty. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Yes. yes. Now, uh, you better start changing your ways. You understand? All right. And don't get caught up with friends because friends that are not your true friends will get you in trouble every time. You understand? All right. Good luck to you. If you need anything, let probation know. If you feel like they're not addressing it, then you can always come back to court. OK. All right. Good luck to you. You can always come back to court. I'll always come back. Yeah. And if you feel like I'm not addressing it, you can always call my mom. You have our number. 